So this is fun. How I make my gifts. Whatever. I made a, um, like a written tutorial, but I feel like videos just do it better, you know? So we're going to open up the program that I use. This is for Macs only. Um, I don't think that there's a download for this for Windows, so sorry. Um, we're going to open it. The first thing that I like to do is come down here to Output Format, and I change that to the one that's right below. Then I configure, unclick this, change that to 15. If you ask me why I do that, I will not give you an answer. I just found that it is like the best way to make GIFs. Nobody told me that. I just kind of trial and error. So you can come up here to open video. Doo, doo, doo. Um, I'm gifting Cody Christian and All American um, because my URL is Cody Christian. And we love native men in this house and native women and native people, you know, solidarity. So I already gift some, um, what's it called? Episodes. Got it. Uh, so we're just going to open this one. Jesus Christ. We're going to open that. Um, if you use your up and down arrow keys, like this goes up, it moves it forward. You can hold it down and it kind of scans and then back goes obviously back. Or you can use it this way. I'm just going to use it this way to find a random... Oh, tell me he's in here. Okay, there he is. Um, so, the A starts your frames. Your A over here should change. And then you can just play it. Play. That was short. I don't want to use that. Let's go to the next one. Oh my god. You know what? I'm hating that scene. It doesn't even matter. Um, it's just a tutorial, but I'd rather kill myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward till we find a scene. Tell me he wasn't in one scene. Oh, tell me he wasn't in one scene. All right. So it looks like we're using this scene. <laughs> we'll go from here. We'll do that. We'll do that. So the B is to block it out. So this is the frame set that we're looking at. Now to save it, you press this little fun little save button up here. Um, I usually screen cap like an entire episode or an entire season. Um, so I always put like a one, two, three, so on at the end. Um, I save it to my downloads. This is the file it should be. Shave it. Perfect. Now it's going to be in our downloads. Um, I do not need this anymore for right now. So next you want to open up your Photoshop. This is the uh, PSD that I have, like all my random PSDs that I use for different shows and stuff. But we're for this one we're going to use, oh my god, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog moving. Um, we're just going to use the texture and then I'm going to color it um, to see what we need. And you're going to need your sharpening action of choice. I'm using this one, thank god. Show. Oh, crop is also a square. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Sorry. Okay, file. We're gonna go to import video frames to layers. Please, God. Okay. Um, we're gonna upload this. Now, um, I grab my screen caps. As you can tell, I use this program. Some people use that same, like, export import to frame import video whatever frames to layers it says it right here um they use it for like the full video like just the full episode and then they would select range only and like choose which part of the video they want to give i just find that's like too much um and it's very like um what's the word i don't know mind numbing <laughs> to just screen cap on here and then move it to Photoshop. So I don't have to worry about this. Um, I also don't worry about this because for me it always makes it look choppy. That's just me though. I'm not sure how other people use it. So we're just gonna load it up. Alrighty, so this has 63 frames, which is perfect for me. We're just gonna do a rough little crop. See what happens. can play it. I need to crop more this way. I do love him. Kind of smexy though. 
And I don't know, I don't like to have so much um, space down here and then like have their head chopped off. So I always like raise it and then I'll go in and like it's still a little bit. So I'm just gonna move it that way. Rob, please go out, please go out. Okay, see how that looks. It looks fine. I, I don't know, I'm gonna just do it again when I get to it. So make sure it's 100%. Image size, 70. Gonna go to this little fun number down here. Gonna go to filter, convert to smart filters. And then make sure action is highlighted. So we press play. Okay, and it sharpens it for us. Now, I said it was good that it was 63 because Anywhere from like 60 to 70 onwards, I'll do like 0 0.05 for the speed. If it's, um, what did I say, 40 to 50, well I guess 40 to 60, it would be 0 0.06 and then anything under 40 would be 0 0.07 just because otherwise it would move so fast. So I'm going to set this to 0 0.05. Um, I'm going to paste my texture over top here and then now I'm going to color. I already have like preset colors over here, but from scratch, the two things that I do first is go to levels and usually all scenes need to be brightened. Like I've never had to like darken a scene. So we brighten it, moving it this way. And then we add some contrast, moving this this way. So it's not just like completely whitewashed. And then I go to brightness and I brighten it, brighten it. And then I add contrast and like, this looks crazy. This looks absolutely insane. So now is the color balance and there's a lot of orange uh, or yellow. So we're gonna move this away from the yellow and away from the red. Um, I'll just do 17. I always match them for some reason, I don't know. And so I always go back and forth between like the contrast levels and the colors after this point. I don't really do levels, uh, regular levels um, so much unless I need to. So just a little bit brightness, but more contrast. And then we're going to basically do the same sort of color things just until it looks like a normal color. And it's looking, I don't know, it kind of looks a little greenish. So we're just going to do a little bit of pink. This is what, it's just so tedious sometimes, you know, but it's honestly just this back and forth until you get a color and then, um, once you get like a color for a scene, you can obviously save that PSD and keep reusing it for that scene. Um, we don't have to do this mess every single time. Dude, I don't know. You know, dude, it looks good to me. And I also like a lot of contrast in my GIFs. Like for people that use like softer GIFs or um, GIFs that aren't like super sharp, that's completely fine. Like I'm not hating them. But when I make gifts, I don't know. I just have this very specific style, I guess. So that looks like a normal coloring. Um, I'm going to put this in a folder just so y'all can see. Like that's before and after. You know what I mean? Like coloring takes time. And I would probably stay on this for like another 10 minutes. But that's fine. So we're going to go to file, export, save for web. This is my saving things. I don't think I've changed this in literal years. I don't know what it means, and if you ask me, I will not know what to tell you. Um, and that's just called being humble. So, we're just gonna save it. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna save it. Um, it comes up with the numbered, like, amount of gifts. So, like, I'm gonna save this, and, like, if I were to upload another frame set, it would save it as Untitled 2, which is really good. Like, I like this system. And so that way we don't need dish anymore. And then I'm just gonna close this before it starts making my computer slow. And then I will show you. Let me open up Chrome. Please open up Chrome. Okay. Oh my gosh, don't look at my name. And there he is. Beautiful little baby boy. Beautiful baby boy. Okay, that's it. Um, okay, bye.